Today on Daddy Jeep Garage, we're going to be working on welding the center section of the Dana 60 to the Sartec truss. plan to weld the pumpkin to the truss is going to take a couple steps. Uh, I asked around online. Um, it's kind of a point of contention. Some people say don't weld it, some people say do. Um, you know, I plan on putting 40s on this, uh, so I'm going to do it. Uh, and I'm already here. It, it doesn't, it's not much more work to get it done. So uh, after asking people online, looking around, uh, you can weld this cast with a normal MIG gun, um, normal solid MIG wire. Um, some steps to, to do this though uh, is going to require some form of heat. You're going to want to heat this casting up to like 400 degrees. Uh, to know you're at 400 degrees, you want some type, some type of a uh, infrared temp gun. Um, while you're welding, you're going to want to be able to peen that weld into the casting because it's porous. Um, so I have a, a needle scaler here to do that for me and then once you're complete with your welding you're going to want to reheat it back up to 400 ish degrees and wrap it up in some kind of a welding blanket. Um, what that's going to do is allow it to cool slowly and prevent your weld from cracking. Um, it's kind of a heated topic a lot of guys uh, say you need to use some kind of a nickel wire I'm not a welder I'm going to crank the welder up to about the temperature of the sun maybe a skosh higher and uh, give it the beans okay so I'm going to weld all, a couple stitches along here and even do the tubes to the housing I'm here might as well do it I haven't peen a single weld yet, like a freaking doofus. It's a good looking weld. Not too bad. Peening, I don't know what it does. Stress relieves the weld, so it's, it's less prone to cracking. It's supposed to, yes, that, and since cast is porous, it's supposed to help push a hot weld into the cast. Hmm. Okay. If you say so. That's what everyone on the internet says. everyone on the internet says it's so, then it must be so. It has to be. That's the only way. We're going to go ahead and stop this video here. Just make it a short one all about welding to the cast center section. So, if you guys haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe. We'll see you next time.